Welcome to the second part of our holiday class series titled Bar Continued. Please make sure that before watching part two, you have completed part one, bar warm up, so that your body is warm and ready for the following combinations. Ronde jambes from first position, so heels together, toes apart, and the arms start en bas. The preparation for Ronde jambes is five, two, three, six, plie, seven, Ronde jambes, eight, and then we begin. Our four Ronde jambes à terre, which means circle of the leg on the ground. And we do th four of those. And then we go plie, so make sure that inside leg is turned out, the front leg is straight. Do not round in the back, nice straight line, and then extend. Again, plie, and then reverse it. So we have four, à terre, three, four, plie, allongé, and plie, allongé, straight to the other side. So let's go ahead and get started because rondo jambes are one of my favorite things. Prepare seven, eight, and four a tear. So the knee is back in this flex position and we strike. So we strike two times. We go one and a two. And then we're going to go to the side. Same thing. Strike and a strike. Then try to the back in that same en quoi pattern. And then to the side again. One and a two. Then we reverse the en quoi pattern. One and a two. Uh, again, three and a four. Devant. Five and a six, then this very last one to the side. We only do one because we have to spend that last count turning around to the other side. Now the preparation for each side is five, six, seven, eight, and. So the foot goes tendu, flex. Five, six, seven, eight, and. It's quick. So two to the front, two to the side, two to the back, and two to the side. Two to the back, two to the side, two to the front, one to the side, turn it around, same thing on the other side. All right, arm is in Alice Cone the entire time, it doesn't move, other than when you go to Susu, you bring it in. Or suit new, excuse me. Thank you. <laughs> Do you mind if we 
it's really fast. I'm sorry. No, it's fine. Yeah, I'll just keep it rolling. Does the tempo work? Okay. Yes, it is okay. a little fast because it's a beginner class. You want it slower? Are you able to? No, it's fine. Yeah. Is it weird? Yeah, okay. No. Yeah, that's much better. Preparation. There's a lot of plie in any given fondue combination. So we have extended straight legs out and we plie, find that coupe with your ankles, arms still in all second, and then extend both legs. Then find that coupe position again, the knee is turned out, find it all a second. Plie, coupe to the back, extend, keep that knee turned out as much as you can. Plie, a la second, and then reverse that en croix pattern to the back, to the side, to the front, to the side. And then we'll come up and turn it around. Um, can we do a four count transition? Okay, four counts to turn around, so nice and slow. All right, thank you very much. to try a developé, which means to develop. And what is developing in this movement is the leg. So it goes from a coupe, which we just learned in our fondue, and then it rises up into a passe, and then extends into that, that long line, that extended position, and then we're going to tendue and then close fifth. So again, we have passe one, extend two, Ton do three, close fifth, four. And we do that en quoi. We're not going to reverse it because I'm being nice today. And we have passe, extend, ton do, and close to the side. One, two, three. Same to the back, then to the side. No uh, slow transition. We go straight to the other side on the left foot. Yes, starting in fifth position. Uh, let's have the porter bra for each each position. So we have devant, à la seconde, derrière, à la seconde. So make sure when you're in that arabesque back, you have your hip externally rotated so your knee is pointing outward. So it's not pointing down toward the floor. None of that. Okay, from fifth position, here we go.
Okay, dancers, we are going to finish strong with the Grand Batma combination. Grand Batma is a giant kick of the leg. Now, it's not just any old kick, like you're kicking a soccer ball. We do keep the foot totally pointed and the back as upright and straight as possible. So I don't want to see a curved back to get the leg higher. I would like to see a nice tall back, even if that means that the leg is relatively low, like under 90 degrees, and that is just fine, as long as you're finding that alignment in your spine and working the right muscles so you're not going kick and kick. So keeping it nice and tall and the lower body is working hard. Um, so we have two en croix. So remember that en croix pattern, front side, back side. So we have two to the front, two to the side, two to the back and two to the side. And then we go right around to the other leg, we're not going to reverse it. So uh, since we have an even number of movements, uh, when we go a la seconde, we start on the op to the opposite direction as we want to go. So for example, we have two devant, a one and a two, and then we go a la seconde. We want to go to the back after going a la seconde, so we start by closing front. So we close front, close back, because it's an even number of batma. At butt mounts. And then we go to the back, a one and a two. We want to finish to the front on this, so we start to the back. So we go close back, close front, turn around, other side. Arm is up, all second, derriere, all second. Yes, two each direction, no reversing. Here we go. Thank you. Thank you for joining us for our second class of the holiday series, Bar Continued. Please stay tuned for our third session, Center, coming up next. This class is proudly brought to you by Evolve Dance and Performing Arts. Evolve with us.